Red leather, yellow leather. Uh, Jesus. Right. What's going on and welcome to Barley Buds. Today we are headed to Rock Hill, South Carolina, where we're going to visit Slow Play Brewing and try their raspberry full kettle wheat sour, kettle soured wheat ale. Rather, we're going with it. Let's pop some tops. Pops have been popped. We're sticking with it. Yeah. We're good. Right we're now. Just, yep, we're popped. <laughs> we're popping. Oh, I'm gonna pour too. Oh yeah, this, I can see this this being red in here. A lot of wow. lot of like a lot of foam. Time out. Time out. Foam. Coming out the top. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Who's who can be worse <laughs> than Jim? Oh my a God. lot of foam. <laughs> wow. Jim, <laughs> I'm, I'm Jim? bad, but wow. Oh yeah. Nick is gonna give me his money. Yeah. Dude, wow. That was a lot of foam. I was not, you know what? I should have taken that beer. <laughs> that's, that's, you rough. tried your best and look at that thing. That still looks beautiful. I tried pretty good too, and I still got This a... thing is not going away. I don't, I have one of the best pours here. That, that's not right. Uh, Chris, yours looks like the, the, uh, the high C man. What the Kool Aid guy? Kool Aid man. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's oh, yeah. Savages. yeah. But look at the head. Yeah. It comes out of the glass, like it sticks together. Oh. oh yeah all right manny what do you got on this so this is my fifth can of this i knew rolling i was i got i got this room i've had this before like i said it's my fifth can of it i love it i when i had it i was like i can't wait for rolling to try this um first i'm gonna start with the downside 4.2 percent definitely on the low side you're not gonna get a buzz off this unless you're chugging them back like crazy um, the other downside, this is $18 for a four pack. So it's extremely rare when I'll spend $18 on a four pack for a 4.2% beer. Um, but having tried it, I think the flavor is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the raspberries are just, they punch you in the face in the most beautiful kind of way. It's like, it, we saw it's carbonated. It's, it's, there's clenching. It, it's, oh, it's, I just absolutely love it. There's the oh. head is, is sustaining. Like it's a sustaining head. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wish I could get head like that on my hard cider. Yeah. Here's a, it's got a strong smell. That's yeah. not the raspberries. There's something else in there that I can't yeah. figure out. I love the color, though. I do like I don't want to say pungent, but I feel like pungent. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm drinking jungle juice. I, I mean, like, <laughs> it's like when I was in college and you just took all the liquor you had left and poured it into, like, your tote that you brought. You, like, earlier in the day, all of your shoes were in it. And then you dumped <laughs> it out and then you put all the liquor. This and like tastes way better than that. That was jungle juice for you? Yeah. All right. Let me have, I, all I did was taste the foam. Now I'm going to get into it because I can, I, can I can see beer now. It the smells bubble, sweet. The carbonation continues once it hits your mouth like yeah. literally you feel the bubbles in every spot and you're like it. it gets in like i think it found a cavity that i have and it's bubbling inside <laughs> that cavity uh, to me this is the absolute perfect hair of the dog beer like uh, it's got enough alcohol to kind of do the trick it's it hurts food. my teeth bone can have it for breakfast uh, just carbonation wakes you up this is like a Not spot as, on here of the dog. I haven't tried it yet. Definitely carbonation, definitely sour. I thought it was, it smells sweeter than it is. Yeah. So it is kettle soured. And I don't know the difference other than it's soured in stainless steel. Who, who's going to look that up? Because I don't know what that means either. I don't know. Well, I get yelled at a lot when I sour. post that sours aren't real beers on all these forums. And they're like, oh, it takes so much to make a sour. And I'm like, whatever. They still suck. <laughs> But I don't know what kettle sour means if it's harder or easier. Oh, Jim's on it right now. Give him a minute. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm already. I already got a score, and I was super excited for this. Like really excited to try this beer tonight, and I am very let down. I'll be honest. Damn. I know. I. I like the flavor, like the raspberry. Like I get that, and I like that. It's not quite sweet enough. It's also a low percent, and I'm not a fan of the over-carbonation for me. Okay. Like, I like the carbonation on the pour, but when it's in my mouth and it's still, like, yeah. popping all over too the much. place, it's too much carbonation for my palate. I like the flavor of it, 
but the carbonation takes over for me. So I think for me, given that it, the flavor is still good, but it is a low percent. I know Tough. it's going to be, I'm sorry, but I'm 275, Chris. And wow. I did not think you're going to go that low. I might, I, I did. I, I, I'm not even going to say anything, but that's pretty low. For me. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's all the factors combined same carbonation and flavor with a four eight or maybe pushing a five percent i'm a three two five take away the carbonation keep it four two still gonna bump it up to a three two five but all yeah. the combination of the three i wonder if the bumping up alcohol would actually get rid of the carbonation too like if they made this version and it got to be six seven percent that would take away that carbonation yeah, yeah, it would, yeah. If it was, if they beefed up the ABV, it, it's harder to get. I think maybe what they thought is they thought they were going to have a higher, a higher ABV, so they, you know, they capped it off and put all that carb in there. I don't know, maybe. Uh, but okay, I'm going to follow that up too. It is something that even at a two seven five, on a day in the summer by the pool, I would probably still drink one of these. Like I would still enjoy one of them, but it's just the whole I package. I wouldn't mind starting a golf game at 10 o'clock in the morning with one of these. Like it's definitely, I can definitely see what Chris is saying. It's a good hair of the dog. This will help you out when you don't want to do all the work to make a bloody Mary or something like that. <laughs> um, also what cart girls are for. Also, got to give them credit because I was looking at the can for a while before I realized the SP on the can. Yeah. Cool. Ooh, inside the spade, I was like, all right, I like little things like that. I like so, I never the only that reason up. I even noticed that was because when you go on there untapped, it, the only thing that's on that is the SP. So I didn't even realize that it was a spade until yeah. I looked at the can and I saw it was on a playing card. Yeah, the whole card, the whole front's a playing card. But on um, untapped, all it is is that SP. So okay. it made sense to me at the time, and now it makes even more sense since it's a playing card. Hey, Chris, are yeah. any of their other beers also, like, designed as playing cards? I that don't just know. Is one. Only one I've honestly, like, paid attention to. That'd be pretty cool if it was, like, their theme. You think they have a deck? Is there, I mean, is there a... Play. It's, it's a poker term. So uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, true. It is a poker term. I didn't even catch that. Yeah. Okay. Moving on let's see all beers well because they do have quite a few they have like a carrot cake oh i like carrot might be cake. gross they have a holiday who the hell likes carrot cake i yeah, love I really carrot cake, cake. Uh, in general I like it. Carrot cake beer. yeah no they all look like playing cards i like the frosting whatever the frosting is in carrot cake is always good cream cheese cream cheese cream cheese, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Yeah, cream. i'll just eat that fucking sugar um, it's good. Like equal parts cream cheese and sugar. Of course, it's delicious. But the actual okay, cake. But anybody who said they like cream cheese, but if you had a choice between a better fucking cake, you would not take. Yeah, no, a cream I'm not cheese. Carrot cake. God, carrot no. cake. You wouldn't fucking. If there's even two options, listen, I'm not a huge chocolate you have both. guy, but it, I'm gonna take the chocolate <laughs> cake over fucking carrot cake. Oh yeah. The only only both. cake I might take carrot cake go over is fruit cake. Yeah, that's that a valid point. <laughs> you can't look at this that's a valid point. <laughs> All right, I'll follow up, Mikey. Uh, Mike, you hit a lot of good points on that one. It's a little bit too carbonated for me. Um, they it's nailed the flavor. Um, I don't think I'm as low as Mikey. I, I do fucking like it. It is low, It is rough that it's 18 bucks for $4. Yeah. $4 for yeah. 4%, 4.5. That's so high. But I I wouldn't mind drinking this. Uh, I'm going to go three. Okay. All right. Because honestly, each sip, it's getting a little bit less bubbling in my mouth. And I agree, Mikey. I don't like that. Like I'm eating Pop Rocks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> raspberry Pop that. Rocks, though. I mean. Raspberry Pop Rocks are bomb. Yeah. That's a good analogy. Still can't figure out what that smell is, though. It's not fucking raspberry. Well, I'll give my score that I've been giving, and you guys are going to probably <laughs> kick me off barley buds here. So I actually gave it a 4.5 4. because I am a huge fan of the raspberry flavor. I like the carbonation. I like it. It wakes me up. It, like, it's refreshing. 
Um, the only reason I actually didn't go five was because of the price in ABV. If they can knock this down to 16 bucks and knock it up to six or 7%, to me, this is a five. Uh, what's what's a four pack? What's a workhorse? Like if you, a counterweight? Was it workhorse? Is there? That's a pilsner. That's not. Or no. What's so? What's their like IPA? There, like their budget IPA. What do they call it? Workhorse headway. is the pilsner. And what's oh, the headway. One? Headway. Headway. Yeah. How much is headway for a four pack? Fourteen. Is it really? No. Twelve. Really? Fourteen. Yeah, twelve. I think or it, didn't no. I do that one for no, the budget? It's like it's like nine or ten bucks. Yeah, that's really? what I thought. Four, I thought four, I did four that pack? one for the budget. Headway. Yeah, There's no way that's kidding me? I think you're right with 12, 12 to 14. I think it's less. I'm going to be honest because I think that's the one that yeah. I did for like budget craft beers. And, and it was like, that's true. It might have been like 10 bucks or 11, even 10.99 maybe. But like, yeah, maybe 10.99. And that's, and that is, isn't that six and a half or seven percent? So, I mean, I real beer? Like that would, it's almost kind of like my baseline. It's like the price point of this also kills it. Too, that makes guess, sense. Right. So, Rowan, you yeah, use absolutely. an IPA as your baseline beer? No, I'm just using that price point with the ABV uh-huh. as like a, a like relative to, you know, I don't know, something. Because this was – I can't bring myself to spend 20 bucks on a four-pack. Like, it's it's atrocious to me. If these things are getting out of yeah. – people are getting out of control. And people the only reason I do it is – I love the flavor and like, but like you guys said, if you're not loving the flavor, there's absolutely no reason. And I just, I, I love it. The, what are those, those synergies or whatever? Like when you pour yeah, that yeah. thing out, that's like a freaking, that's like a smoothie almost. It's like thick. It is. It's thick, got like yeah. fruit, like almost pulp in there. And this is, you know, this has the, it has the smell of the flavor, It, but it's just, it's thin. It's got like, it, I don't, it doesn't last very long like and you, and then it's just a sour it's very sour it's very soury like in my you mouth like it hurts my teeth to drink this thing <laughs> well, i can't wait to get your score then oh my god ah uh, yeah I, I don't know that i would ever drink that again <laughs> oh. <laughs> i would drink it again 100 percent. i would drink it yeah. again i just but i don't like sour so it's not it's not my yeah. jam it's not my jam i love bobby I literally got this feeling like Rowan's gonna hate <laughs> so much I can't wait to send it up. <laughs> this is activating my geographical tongue. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but nice. If you look up a geographical tongue and make sure you debunk goes. that. That's not a real thing they say now. Like you when you're mean? like, oh, the sour told the me that's what salt. I have. <laughs> they he uses say that's thing. not a real thing anymore. Then what causes sour things to make my tongue get these spots? I don't know. STD. Herpes. Uh, <laughs> That's better than cancer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah oh. I shouldn't say that. That's rude. <laughs> All right. I think I, honestly, I I mean it's it's very drinkable though. It, you could definitely crush these. I just <laughs> score. I can't go any higher than two seven five. I'm gonna go two five. Wow. I thought I was gonna be lower, Rowan. You were <laughs> ripping hard, and you're. I know. Mm. There's beers that you've been like, this is pretty good. Two five. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I'm changing. I have to, I have to ease myself out of that. I have to like, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to adjust, you know, I'm just, I'm adjusting for inflation. <laughs> uh, I mean, but I did like take this down really quickly. Yeah. I that mean, is <laughs> like one good thing. My can is empty. I got like one sip, maybe one and a half sips left. And no, JD, you know, Jim's foam just settled down. (laughs) (laughs) All right. You guys asked before the difference between uh, kettle souring and just regular. Yeah. So actually, kettle souring is quicker and they leave it in the kettle to actually sour. So it's traditionally faster and easier. So if you have regular souring, it involves aging wood in a mixture of microbes most of all time. So tr- traditional sours can take several months, even years to create. Uh, Keta sours can be turned around in a, in a matter of days. So even that with the price point, oh, wow. like I'm sure like, so this technically should be quicker. So I don't know if that has to do with price. Like I know it's 18 bucks, but I don't know if, if they do that versus yeah. if they make the same type of thing with a regular sour beer that takes longer. So what's the hmm. four pack of the watercolors? What are they? No, uh, it's like $32 a four pack. Oh my no. God. What? <laughs> no. Uh, most no, of them are 18, 20. 
Isn't I mean, I like wouldn't doubt it. People will pay that. Somebody yeah. will pay that. Um, uh, they just released one today, Omnipolo at twelve percent, forty dollars for a four pack. I'm like, they what? did. Yeah. So crazy price though. Yeah. I was like, no. Oh no shit. God. What's the yeah. Omnipolo? It's like a, I think it's a stout. It's a pink can with like a green snake on it or something. It's got to go. Oh yeah, that's he a stout. Has it in his fucking fridge and does oh, like a weird name. Oh, it's the white stout. No. No. It's dark. I, I can bring up the can right now. Oh, it's not a white stout. I've had it. It's you won't. Like it. You won't. But anyway, that one's that one's sold down here at twenty eight bucks a four. Yeah, Roland gave us twenty eight seven five. I mean, I know they're shipping, especially with Omnipolo not being a massive thing. But. All right, Ro- Rye, what do you got? Wow. We're, we're still trying oh. to rate this beer, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, we got two more. Yeah, we got two more? I mean, there's not much that can be said that I think I think Mike hit all the flavors. and the. I'm, I'm not really liking it. The flavor is, I think we said this with the pickle beer, that it says raspberry on the cans and you get raspberries. Don't you fucking lump this in with the pickle beer. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> that beer is no. phenomenal. I'm, I'm lumping it in because you get the taste what's on the can. Yeah. And it's that raspberry is probably the only thing I taste with the carbonation. It's a little too sweet for me. Um, See, I thought the opposite. I'm probably, I'm probably going two five. Wow. All right, JD's got the last score. <clears throat> All right, so I, I do like the flavor. I'm not a huge fan of sours. Uh, the price point kills me, and the ABV kills me. Um, I would like to try more from the same brewery. Um, but I, I'm going to go with just a flat three. Like I, I would, I would have it again. I don't think I would buy it. I would try other stuff from there, but yeah, I, I, I do like it. And Chris, you were right. It is not a white stuff, but I do have it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. What's it's got like a weird name. Isn't it like, well, it like wraps around the can. Uh, M E N E L I K. Malik. Yeah. Malik. Something like that. Yeah. Yellow. Yeah, that one's not- so I was saying that one's at our local packy down here at 28 bucks a four pack. Yeah, this was like pretty- I'm not buying it. Like it's- no. yeah, no. <laughs> Didn't I mean, it's good, it's a great beer, the, but the new fuck 2020 today. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. The new fuck 2020 came out today. I don't know. Yeah, they, it sold they out. Upped the uh, ABV on it apparently, and it was already like nine and a half or nine and a half, nine five, nine four. Yeah, so it's sold out. Out. fuck 2021, huh? <laughs> Wow, that's an abomination, right? That's those are the yeah. guys out of New York. That burp came on my nose. That bubble. <laughs> my nose. You know what's fucked up? Roland just burped too, and yeah. I smelled his and heard yours. And I was like, "Holy shit!" I smelled that. Oh, oh. I got <laughs> <smell> a vision. <laughs> I didn't want to like let it out. I was like, I can't let on my nose, and the bubble yeah. tingled my nose. <laughs> Slow burn. I had the le- leftover bourbon from dinner and. Fucking fruit juice here. <laughs> oh, wow. This definitely well, guys, has the like carbonation the of, it's got the carbonation of like a bubbly seltzer. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's almost like Prosecco, like when you pour, like to make, it's like a cocktail, like one of those fruity cocktails that they make with Prosecco. You know, if you added the green alcohol to this beer, hey, it hey, might be onto something. Now we're talking. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to try that. Well, Chris, I'm sorry. You were so well, excited you know, for this. This I'm sorry is on my end. I dropped the ball with you. I really like the flavor was good. I thought we can overcome the alcohol and the, uh, the price. See, I, don't, and- I don't think you dropped the ball, though, because I did like the flavor. And all of us gave low scores, but I think all of us except Roland – Maybe Ryan said we would drink it again. Well, Jim said not this one. I, I lied. It, only me and Matt said we'd drink it again. Yeah. But I would drink this again from a personal standpoint. So the score was low, but the flavor was good. All right. And, you know, to me, I'm like, I love the carbonation. I did not see all five of you not liking the carbonation. Because in my head, I'm like, this is so refreshing. It's like, it's delicious. We don't live in a hot, warm climate. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, stop. <laughs> 
Even though it was 60 degrees today, it's like day one. Yeah, you had bro. nice weather today. <laughs> That's true. Come back at me when it's like, uh, you know, middle of July and it's been 100 degrees for three days, four days. Then I might say, you know what? Give me another one. One, Only one more, though. Only one more. Yeah. Not two, not three, <laughs> four, just one. So, Rye and Roland, 2 5, low score on this beer this week. And Chris, you're the high at a 4 5. Which is just atrocious. <laughs> just absolutely atrocious. Literally, my first one, I was like, if they made this 6% or higher, this is a 5. I love it. Six percent or higher would have boosted my score a hundred percent. Yeah, it wouldn't have boosted mine. <laughs> Chris, what? since this was your beer, finish us off. <laughs> All right, one small sip from man, one giant pint from mankind. Drink if you're thirsty. All nah. the time. Drink all the time. All the time. Cheater I'm voice. sorry for giving you guys a beer. You don't like. I'll Listen, make it up to you. You can't. They all can't be winners. Roland, honestly, I knew I bought this beer knowing how much you're gonna hate it, and I was gonna laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's tough for me to finish. It. It's tough. I'm having. I'm struggling through. I got a Bud Light right here, ready to cleanse my palate as soon as I have that, this last sip. That's disgusting to me. That's just vile. Like that's not right. BL smoothies right here. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Speaking of, I'm surprised you made this whole episode without calling this a breakfast smoothie. Because I don't even want this for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the just, ideal breakfast smoothie. I mean, yeah, I'll have a breakfast smoothie. I'll take some clamato and put it in my Bud Light. That's nasty. Disgusting. It's the greatest thing there ever was. It's got a name. It's called like a a chalada or something. Bud Light makes it now because it's so popular. Hopefully it doesn't mean good. (laughs) Listen, it's good. It's like Pink Whitney, but better because they made it like years ago. Yeah, I don't know. Clamato? I don't know. (laughs) That name, I don't know. I don't yeah, know if I get behind that. Clam juice and tomato. Yeah, that doesn't. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Listen, I drank a clam or a slime. Would no, not a slime. Is this what you're talking about? There it is. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> that is it. Wow. That's what you have if you ingested poison and you need to throw it up That's so you don't <laughs> die. You drink a tomato. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you. Morning after, that is an unparalleled breakfast beer. I know I went uh, to a resort in Jamaica and they did like it was called a red eye and it was a Bloody Mary, but only half a Bloody Mary. And then they did the other half was a red stripe beard and carbonation. Yeah. And I was like, that seems disgusting. Like right now, I just kind of want the Bloody Mary and the tomato juice. I tried it. Phenomenal. That carbonation yeah. helps your stomach when you're fucking kind of hungover and hurting. It's like I was drinking them until eleven o'clock started. until I switched to something <laughs> else. Yeah. Do that. They actually have flavors of this stupid beer. Do they really? It's original. There's mango. There's oh wow. What is this? Salt and lime, and extra li- an extra lime. Interesting. I never thought to put. Uh... Any garnishes on my breakfast hangover beer, but I would never think to drink this. Well, because <laughs> you don't know any better. I mean, I'm here to teach you. I'm here to show you the way of the world. <laughs>